Hey guys, so I got a really awesome package in the mail today. I was super excited. I didn't think it was gonna come this fast. I don't know why, but I just didn't think so. Oh my god, I love it. So this is the box that it comes in. Super chic. This is probably a box that I'm going to keep and like display with some other fun boxes that I have. And then on the back it has all the colors and their names, but like you're... I think that's kind of silly because you're never going to look at the box for uh, what the color name is. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> Fuck, when the box is smarter than you are. Okay, so once it is out of there, oh, this is what it looks like. I love this. The only thing that I think would have made it better if they also had silver detailing, like silver gold, and then matte and shiny black. Matte black and shiny black. Um, so we've got gold details. It says saint on this side, sinner on this side, and then kind of like uh, cool toned golds going on here. And then you grab this circle. I do kind of find this palette a little hard to open, I'm not gonna lie. And then this is the situation that we have going on here. Super gorgeous palette. And then on the back again, it has all the shade names, but it's also kind of weird because like the shades have the name underneath them. So I don't really think you need it on the back of this, on the back of the box and in here. Do you feel me? A bit of overkill. Okay, moving on. So I think the best way to go through this is doing swatches first. I'm gonna let you know that with swatches, A, I put foundation on my arm and then powder it because that's how I apply it to my eyelid. And um, B, I also apply it with a brush and I do go over it a few times because that's how I would apply my eyeshadow. I don't take my finger, swipe the eyeshadow once, and then swipe it on my eye once. Like that's not how I apply makeup, so I don't know why people do swatches like that, because like that's not how you're applying your makeup, so that's not actually how that eyeshadow is gonna turn out. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean though? So we're just gonna hop right into that, and then once we're done the swatches, afterwards I'm going to do a quick makeup look. It's not really gonna be a tutorial, it's just gonna kind of be me testing the products, coming up with some fun eye looks, and then I will give you my final opinions at the end of the video. So let's get right into it, guys. Okay guys, so I'm gonna share my final thoughts on the palette. Um, so keep in mind, I do live in Canada, so I did have to pay the 
Canadian price for this. So it was $83 Canadian. It's supposed to be like $62 uh, US, so with the conversion rate it turns into about $83. And the shipping was free, so I don't believe I paid anything extra on top of that. To be perfectly honest, I think it was worth it. <laughs> um, I absolutely love the aesthetic look of this palette, even once I've used up all the shades inside. Honestly, I might just clean up like the outside because I already foresee myself getting makeup all over it. But I would clean this up and I would just like have it sitting somewhere on a shelf, do you know what I mean? So I think that's a super cool feature of it is that it's actually like artwork basically. Regarding the colors themselves, I really like the color scheme that's in here. I think there's like four, I'd say there's probably five, maybe five. I don't know, it's not like I hate them, I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, Martyr right here, the diarrhea color. I'm not feeling it, but I think it's just because of my skin tone, it wouldn't look good on me, but I think a darker skin tone, it would be a really good like transition neutrally kind of color. It's gonna look terrible on me because I'm a ghost and so that's just gonna come up, uh, like I said, <laughs> diarrhea brown. Um, the other colors that I'm not, it's not like I don't like them, I definitely see uh, where their place is. I'm not in love with this green, this gold, or this blue and purple. It's not like I don't like them, like I'm not a huge fan of this gold, I'm not gonna lie. But putting like that gold with like the black could be a really eye-catching, like, stunning look, and so I think there are definitely color schemes in here that make those colors more likable, but, like, on their own, if I was just to, like, buy that gold shade, like, there's no fucking way. And then, it's not like I don't like the green, the blue, and the purple, I just think that they could have been replaced with, like, more duochrome shades. I really like this, um... Vestment, I think is the color, this one right here that's like a duochrome um, greeny brown color. I wish the, that uh, the blue, the lime green, and the purple were switched with three other duochrome shades because I really like that one and I just think that this is more of like a metallic um, earth tony kind of color scheme going on and so those colors just don't really make a lot of sense to me in this palette. Again, I think that because of all the colors that are in here, you can make some really cute combos. Like I think these three right here would be super cute for like a watermelony summer look. Um, but yeah, so there are definitely some colors in here that I don't like, but like 90% of them I do love. And uh, the ones that I don't like, I can definitely like see their place. I just would have maybe preferred different colors. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but every, like all, literally all the other colors, like love, 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 can we just say it? Love lots of these. I just think it's a really good range of colors for like the earthy tone, metallic-y kind of genre. Is that what we're going with? Uh, what I have heard a lot of people like shit on the color like palette placement saying that they don't really get it. And to be fair, when I first saw the palette, I was like, mm. I kind of see that, but the more I look at it, the more I'm like really impressed with it because one thing that I like seeing in palettes is seeing color schemes that I wouldn't have picked out myself. Like when they place color together, colors together, like these three right here for example, I wouldn't have thought myself to put those colors together, but because of how they're placed in the pan, I'm like, oh yeah, that actually would look um, very cute together, you know what I mean? And so I like when palettes do that. And honestly, nothing pisses me off more is when like you get a palette with a bunch of colors in it and they put all the same colors beside each other. Like, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. My whole being hates that. When it's like they put all the transitions together and all the metallics together and all the colors together because you're never going to see color schemes that you wouldn't think of yourself because they're just grouping all the colors within their like genres, which isn't really helpful. Do you know what I mean? I think that if you're going to 
place colors in a palette, you should do it in a way that helps people find color schemes. So like as you can see, you could put these guys together, you could put these three together, do you know what I mean? Like it's easier to see different color schemes that you wouldn't have thought of yourself. So I actually quite like how this palette is laid out. I like the original shape that it is, the like uh, cathedral window we got going on here I think is super fun. Uh, so yeah, this is my actually first Kat Von D like eyeshadow palette. I've gotten her uh, liquid lipsticks. I don't know if that's what she calls hers. Everyone calls it something else. NYX is like liquid suede or something. But um, yeah, so I've only gotten her lipsticks before, and I this is the first eyeshadow palette of Kat Von D's that I've gotten, and I'm super impressed with it. And to be perfectly honest, I'm so happy that I did get it because I think it's just such a wide range of shades that like it was so totally worth it. Do you know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I'm super pleased with it. Super pumped. I definitely do recommend getting it. Maybe if you have like some of her other palettes, like it's not really worth it because maybe you have a bunch of these colors already. But if you don't have any Kat Von D shades, like definitely check it out. It is limited edition, so once it's gone, it is gone and you're not going to get it. I ordered mine online, but they will be in stores October 4th, I want to say. I might be talking complete shit. Do what it do. Um, but yeah, I think it's October 4th. They were available online September 19th. Um, so yeah, this is... Uh, this is the palette in all its glory. These two shades, again, just to remind people, are supposed to be topper shades, so they're going to be like a sheer glitter that you're supposed to put over an eyeshadow, just so you know. But the rest of these are actually eyeshadows, um, and I also think that that's pretty cool that like the two top shades are like a different type of eyeshadow altogether. I think that that's also like a unique thing to put into a palette is different types of eyeshadows. I think that's super fun. Uh, and yeah, honestly, I'm like super pleased with the palette. I'm not gonna ramble on too much longer. I just, yeah, I give it honestly like a 9 out of 10. <laughs> There's some shades in here I would swap out, but it's not like I hate them. It's just they're not like my favorite. Do you know what I mean? The only thing I would say is like maybe it could have like one more transition color that's like, one second, one second, one second. It's like if this color and this color had a baby, do you know what I mean? And it was just like a bit lighter but less um, orangey brown than that. Like a little, actually if these three had a baby, that would be the perfect transition shade for me. But uh, taking one more palette to do transitions isn't the end of the world. And to be perfectly honest, it's really hard to get like one palette with everything you want in it. This one I love for the color scheme, like I'm definitely using all the colors in here and then I would bring like another palette just for transitions and that would be it. So taking two palettes I don't think is like the worst thing in the world, so yeah, that is my overall review. Let me guys, what, let me guys, let me know what you guys think of what you've seen of this palette down below. I want to hear your thoughts thoughts on it and yeah I think that's it that's all guys I'll see you in my next video whoa no back it up uh, like leave me a like if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram and Facebook I will link those down below if you guys didn't know on my Facebook I do do a hidden I do do oh, I say that all the time and I hate it I do a hidden gem a post once a week and it just showcases products that are cheap but I really like so if you're into that definitely go check out my Facebook and then my Instagram I do post a lot of makeup looks that I don't always record on YouTube so yeah that's also what you can find there I'm trying to give you guys like a couple options do you know what I mean I want you to have reasons to follow me on all my social media I don't just want to post the same shit everywhere do you know what I mean do you know what I mean though uh, but yeah, other than that, um, I think that's it for this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.